what examples can you give uh, when we say, okay, affirmation. Words of affirmation. I'll, I'll give something we do refer to as the standard affirmation technique. Okay. And the standard affirmation technique is you come up with a slogan or mm -hmm. some a statement. Yeah. It has to be a statement that is so simple for you to mm -hmm. say it, to say it to yourself. Mm to memorize it. It has to be something that is easy also on your tongue to say it. <laughs> yes. And then it, you, it must be something that you are so convinced about mm. that it actually reflects who you are. Mm -hmm. So you wake up, you sit down somewhere, or you look at yourself in a mirror mm -hmm. and begin to say that statement. For example, maybe you are, you are, your focus for the day or focus for the year or focus for the month is you right. want to, to, to generate a lot of money. Yes. So the affirmation slogan or statement could be something like make a million or make a thousand or whatever it is. Yeah. So you begin to say that to yourself. So it has to be written, it has to be easy, it has to be something you're so convinced about, and it is something that you say not once, but repeatedly, mm -hmm. until you begin to hear yourself speak. Mm -hmm. There's something magical about you yourself hearing yourself when you right. speak. It causes vibrations on your body. Mm -hmm. It sets your body and your mind in a certain tone yes. to be able to do what you want to do. So you yeah. have to speak it. Yeah. You have to hear it as mm -hmm. you speak it. And you have to be brave enough of to do it. Of course you have to do I it. Can imagine as you're going through your sessions and doing one-on-one -on -one, you know coaching sessions with people yes. um how many people don't believe that they can actually achieve the things that they are saying also and did you know that <laughs> one of the secret of developing unshakable levels of confidence in right. yourself and in your abilities mm -hmm. is by affirmation by speaking people who seem not to have a lot of confidence even in studying in front of people right. people who are shy mm -hmm. one of the key things i tell them to do is to begin to speak to themselves that i can do it i can do this yeah. i can do it i'm a winner i'm and they keep doing it until now they believe it. It becomes them. It becomes them. Yeah. Yes. That's a very powerful technique that people don't even seem to know that they can use it. Yeah. And you know that is exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. Before I became a public speaker, mm -hmm. I was so disadvantaged because I went to a rural primary school. I was born in those days when uh, English <laughs> language was being taught in vernacular. Ah, oh, wow. And when yeah. I went to high school, I didn't even know how to articulate anything in mm -hmm. English or even express myself. Mm -hmm. But I remember I kept telling myself, I am going to be the best speaker and the best orator in this school. I kept saying that. I yeah. kept saying that. Yeah. And when I was in Form 2, mm -hmm. there was an internal competition in that school. Right. And a boy who came in who couldn't even articulate anything, he emerged top. Yeah. And I went all the way up to the provincial level mm -hmm. because of affirmation, affirmation, wow. affirming yourself. Yeah. And by the way, why would you wait for other people to come and affirm you mm -hmm. if you're not affirming yourself? Mm -hmm. yes. That's true. Yes. That's true. If you can't deposit it yes, yourself, yes, yes. don't wait for externals exactly. yes. to actually come and put, exactly. you know, pour into you. Yes. I love it. Okay, affirmations are very...